Hello, my name is Nick Harris. I'm a UK based illustrator working mostly in children's books and today IFX have asked me to talk a little bit about how I would paint moustaches because that's one of the questions that's come in apparently and needed in the Q&A section. So this is Art Rage 4. This is uh, working in tool bench mode uh, where you can have all the tools at one side and leave the screen mostly clear. Uh, out of the reference panel I've opened up a, another view so I can see the picture whole all the time and a scrap on which I've painted some f some face colours that I've been using and you can use it like a palette you have to alt click or is it option click on the Mac I don't use a Mac I think that's what you use uh, to sample the colours but then that's really handy for things like this when you want to have a set of colours or a certain blend of colours it's the same sort of thing as you can have in Painter and some of the more expensive programs obviously this is a lot cheaper sorry I'm Banging the, mus banging the microphone quite a lot at the moment, trying to get it out of the way of my mouth and under my chin. Um, so I've painted various faces on these guys and um, uh, I'm blocking in uh, some shapes, uh, some different shapes from the moustaches. We'll be going back into them a bit later. Uh, but at the moment, uh, the idea is to see if you can come up with some, some different shapes of moustaches. If you look at people, and look at people with moustaches, um, actually in person or online, you will find there are various different shapes, people have various different styles. You'd think you'd quite limited, but it's surprising what people can do, what they can come up with. And uh, over history, there's been a number of different, uh, very stylistic shapes, uh, which can be cultural, or it, it can be fashion. I never really thought of moustaches as fashion, but it, it is, I suppose. Um, so I've tried to make these people different sizes, different heights, uh, but the the premise of the daft image, because I tend to do daft images, in this particular case, is uh, this. Is, uh, if I ever finish it, it will be called the new recruit, and it's a load of sort of older guys in whatever this regiment or organisation is in their uniforms. And they've all got moustaches that go down, droop down, point down, uh, generally more gravitationally controlled. And the new recruit, when you see him in a minute, you'll see he's got um, a more a trendy style uh, that points up and they do not approve. So that's the joke. Yes, I know, weak. So anyway, you've got the faces. Uh, and whatever perspective they are drawn in, uh, you need to take that into account when, when you are putting a moustache on it. Uh, because otherwise it just won't make sense. It just won't. Uh, so if you're looking straight on at a face, obviously you can see more of the moustache. If the face is turned away from you, um, then obviously you can see less of it and the angles and that have to conform to the face they have to conform to how it curves over the top lip because that's what it's attached to it may well be that it carries on and is also attached to uh, d connected to a beard or or sideburns now I haven't actually carried on and given any of these guys beards uh, some of them may have sideburns later on um, but I thought if I put a beard on that would be more confusing and, uh, and <coughs> take the focus away from what we're supposed to be looking at which is moustaches today. Um, this guy in the end looks damned ill. Uh, I'll probably be 
trying to fill him out a bit more. I think he looks a bit like Fu Manchu, which is why I'm giving him this uh, at the moment. I'm thinking of this sort of Mandarin style dangly. Dangly, that doesn't, that's not very conforming to gravity, is it? Uh, but one of the things about moustaches is that they can be quite stiffened. People used to wax them and all sorts of things uh, to try and shape them in the same way as women that hair spray their hair um, and have all sorts of stiffeners and gels and uh, blokes as well these days, gels to make their hair do things that uh, gravity doesn't want it to or even the uh, just the way it's attached to your head uh, doesn't want it to like people often have natural crowns uh, bit where the uh, hair <laughs> uh, decides to part company uh, makes it sound like you're losing it from your head no you know what I mean uh, where hair can grow one way out of the head or another way out of the head and you do get a parting at times I'm digressing waffling as well uh, you see this is what I mean uh, about the uh, the young recruit on the end he's going to have a, a bit more of a moustache that goes in a direction they don't approve of. Uh, ah, I don't think that's at all trendy, but uh, these guys obviously do and are very offended by it. Uh, I'm just blocking them in at this stage. Uh, what I will do is get sort of the shapes in here. This, this has all been done on a separate layer uh, above the the other layers of the where the painting is so far and then we'll go through another another sort of minute of uh, the painting progressing and stages and then um, I'll do a little bit more closer in on some of the faces uh, because from this range unless you've got really good eyesight you're not going to get much from it okay right so we'll just cut into another bit uh, where we move forward Obviously I've progressed it a bit further now, it's still way off being finished. I won't have time to finish it for this thing, uh, but I will concentrate on the faces for now. Now you may notice that the palettes have moved across from the right hand side to the left hand side. Um, that's not really a, ignore that, that's not really a, um, a decision I wanted to make. It's because the Wacom I'm using is dying a death and is being fritzy, particularly when I'm working along the way. On the long right hand side, I'm gonna have to get a new one. This is a second hand one that's lasted quite a few years already, um, but it's giving up the ghost now, so it happens to all of us. Uh, so, anyway, here we are with three characters a bit more developed, uh, but their moustache is obviously not. And uh, the idea will be to uh, give these a variety of moustaches. The joke is still that the the guys on the left, the old guard, all have the moustaches going down and the new recruit has his moustache going up. It's a really simple little idea. Just like me, I'm a simple little thing. So anyway, zoom in. Now I've got the moustaches on a separate layer still. See, so try and make him look like he's smiling underneath uh, make it carry through again as I said before 
the moustache should conform to the shape of the face and the perspective of the face obviously if you're looking at this side on uh, you, it would be a different shape you have to apply that perspective to it otherwise it would just look odd now at the moment I've got the moustaches on a top layer I'm going to move them down above the the base colour layer because for a while them but I will also move the drawing down which I've also got on top and put that between them just for the moment just for ease so I'm not worrying about the lines underneath because I find them distracting although if I wanted to see what was going on there that's quite a good way of having it I have the tone layers turned off at the moment because I want to be able to accurately pick the colours I'm working with now uh, something about moustache and hair colour doesn't have to be the same uh, never mind the idea where so this guy's going grey and he may have a darker moustache but sometimes uh, people actually have different colour hair to beard and, and moustache I'm sure that's the case, I'm sure I'm, I'm, sure I'm making that up right, I've picked the right layer I'm good at, I'm good at painting on the wrong layer so I'll start with the young guy Has he been moustache being just another extension of uh, facial hair or head hair uh, I don't see why I shouldn't be doing it at the same time I know we're talking about moustaches but it is just another another f head adornment of hair now eyebrows are important uh, <laughs> if, if you've had nasty friends nasty enough to shave yours off you'll know how important they are <laughs> because they, you just look permanently surprised without them Now onto the actual meat of it. I mean, this is very quickly marked in, as you can see. Very insensitively marked in as well. Yeah, so I'm not very good at talking and working at the same time. A lot of people say I'm not very good at working at all, but talking makes it harder for me it's like the walking and chewing gum thing that joke about various um, American presidents and well various people I probably can't walk and chew gum either right so is he marking a little dividing line where the middle would be like to his from the base of his nose to his lip. I'm going to mark it out it's quite solid with quite solid lines to get a nice shape to it. I'm a linear sort of person, that's how I think. If you're more a painty person, then do it in a painty way. But the whole point is that whatever your style um, hopefully you will try it, you don't imagine it uh, you, you, it should look like it's part of the painting like if you've got a special hairbrush and the only thing you ever use it for is doing hair but it doesn't look like the rest of your style it, it's, it's not gonna it's gonna stick out a bit like a sore thumb or a sore moustache in fact because it wouldn't look a thumb at all well, hopefully, hopefully not. Most people don't have thumbs under their noses. People do thumb their noses, but that's different. Sorry, I'm chuntering at the moment. It's because I'm doing this the early hours of the morning. Oh. So I'll be a bit more painty with this. I've sort of marked out the shape I'm 
kind of thinking of. I haven't really thought too much about colours. I'm just going to do it dark to start with and work from there. Now at the moment this looks like a strip of ribbon, so obviously that's rubbish. I'm just going to block it in there first. Now because the light is coming down on the front of his face like this, I don't know if you, I hope you can see the cursor thing moving up, representation of the, the light should fall the same on the moustache. I will tidy this up, honestly. Warm it up quite a bit, I think. I'm using the oil brush on this at the moment, so and it's quite blendy, so you get these interesting um, bits of colour coming out of it that you don't necessarily expect, like it's coming out a lot redder than I expected it to, which isn't really what I want here, only because it uh, means it disappears into the colours of his face a bit, doesn't it? Now the light would be able to reach there, because remember I said it's coming down this direction. Let me get back to the pencilling, and this is a bit, it's a bit finer, and you probably get it there as well. Just thinking about how it's curling round. Probably catch the tip there, maybe. So that's coming out and round like that here. Maybe like that. Now I am having him with the same sort of colour hair as moustache. Because I'm a boring conformist. This is me. I'm using the other end at the moment and rubbing away. Sorry, the other end by stylus. You probably wasn't wasn't very really clear there, was I? How unlike me. Point with this particular piece, it is not very detailed. So, if I was to make the hair very detailed, this is what I was saying, it would stand out and not look right. I will put more detail into it, but I'm not going to go mad with it. moment when I said about standing out like a sore thumb. That's exactly what it's doing. It's not blending in right at all. Looks far too hard. But as I take the light, the, the darker edges away a bit, it's starting to look a little bit more not that this not that this moustache shape and everything looks particularly natural to me. Because it's a silly exaggerated one. And if anyone's got this style, I'm sorry, I'm not calling your Mustache, silly and exaggerated. Just in the context of this picture, I have the greatest of respect for people with moustaches, male or female.
Yeah, I've still got the pencil selected. Well done, me. That's another thing, as well as painting on the wrong layers, I'm good at painting with the wrong brushes as well. I'm very versatile. I'm sorry for the silences, but I'm. I can't get too loud because I'll wake my wife up. As I said, it's the early hours of the morning. And also, I find it hard to do things and talk at the same time. Part of meeting and talking. You'll notice I do that a lot, and then you get sprayed with food. So it's a, a no win situation with me, really, isn't it? The beard is probably getting a bit light at the moment, but I may well, if I find that's the case, put a little watercolour wash over it to give it a bit more colour again. Because I'm con while I'm concentrating on trying to get some form into it, I'm probably not concentrating enough on um, colour. Quite frankly, this just looks pathetic. <laughs> this looks dreadful. Expert on moustaches to to make this more convincing, really. But it's not really something I planned spending my life doing. When I tried to go beard, it was utterly pathetic. I ended up with kind of a hairy goiter, not much on my chin, and lots under my neck. Looked like I was being attacked by a ferret. here that looks particularly dodgy. Just softening it a bit. And it's the hard edge along the bottom that's not it's particularly not working. I don't know I think I'm taking too much away. It's no pleasing me, is it? Yeah, it's, it's looking a bit more fun now, though. I'm not saying moustaches have to look fun. Glass, like walking a tightrope, this. I don't want to insult anybody. Anybody that's particularly keen on moustaches. any compensation I grew one for my daughter's wedding because it was a themed 40s wedding and the moustache was in keeping I have to say the second after the wedding I shaved the damn thing off but I have had a moustache in the past quiet again then I'm sorry about that so much for running commentary oh, let's zoom back a bit here so I'm just switching the well I thought I was switching the tone on but it doesn't need to be doing anything oh, for 
some reason or that, the ATM. I posted it, it got turned right down. Didn't mean to do that. Bit of stealth, I posted the setting. No, I don't want to do that either. Sorry, if I hold control, you see, that draws a straight line in any direction. But to zoom in and out, what I said, I'm hold, what's that? Control and space bar. Control space bar. That doesn't sound right. Problem is, I'm pressing the keys on the back of my camera, and I've set them to. No, it's spacebar and shift on the keyboard. And let's see. On there, you see. Getting back on track. Shade. That'll need picking it, pick it out a bit. I'm um, just because I think there's a bit of tone on there. There we go. Just knocking that out a bit. It's picked out a bit more detail by erasing some of the tone. It looks like he's got a purple smear up his face, that's not right. Well, anyway, I like the shape of that one. Uh, it's not convincing, particularly convincing as hair. Although moustaches to hold that sort of shape. They have to be... People used to wax them and do all sorts of things to them to get them to hold their shape. And sleep them in a special sling. Oh, that's a lot of work. Way more than I plan to do. Let's move on to this guy's one, see if I can make that any better. After the big success I just had on his. <coughs> I'll have another quick break, I need a, a sip of water. Now, to make the point about the duality of hair colour, this guy, I will, even though I've tended towards a greying of his hair, I will keep his moustache dark, and his eyebrows dark, and that will give him more character. That's a theory, anyway. Am I still working on the right layer? Gosh, amazing. It is, it is astonishing how many times I don't work on the right layer. Or depressing is probably a better description. Uh, again, as with hairstyles, there are all manner of moustaches, beards, and, and you, know, you can have straight hair, curly hair, just as you can on top of your head. I'm not so sure if I gave him a curly moustache, it would look right if he had straight hair there. That's not to say he couldn't have had a perm, maybe even a pink rinse. I doesn't look like the type with pink rinse though, so I won't give him that. Again, because I'm working with opaque pigment at the moment, pigment. Ha! Huh. Hark at me. It's digital. It's not pigment. I forget sometimes. Because I just think, I'm still thinking in real media terms. I did it for too long. I can't break the habit. saying earlier about the P 
perspective thing with the mustaches. Hopefully there's a, a little bit of evidence of that in this one. You've got a more straight on look with this one and side on, more side on with this. So the perspective has to be taken into account. Oh, as I said, it will look like either it's sliding around his face or he's in a strong wind. Maybe that's the effect you want. But if it isn't, you have to apply a bit of perspective. Now you see this is coarser because it's just more like hair. I'm finding this moustache easier to do. Well, you'll probably agree it still looks rubbish, but it's easier to do this rubbish than it was to do the other rubbish. It's a bit more yellowy colour, I think that's a bit red, isn't it? Brush a bit big pencil rather. I'd say this one feels more like sort of coarser sort of hair to it, which can actually sometimes that comes with age as well. Your hair can get coarser when, with age, or it can get finer with age. Think about your character. Give them particular peculiarities. I mean physically, if you want them to have lots of character. Now you see I've kept his eyebrows and his moustache. with more colour to them. And I'm treating it just like I would other hair. I'm working from darker tones to lighter tones. And thinking about volume. That's not to do with how loudly I'm speaking. I think about the volume of the shape of the moustache. I might just mix just to help attune it to the hair. Put a few of the lighter tones amongst the grey. It's not grey, it looks like purple, but in the context of the image it's kind of grey. And that will help key it to the... make it feel more convincing. Ha, like this is convincing. <laughs> Remember, uh, if it's under his nose, there is still likely to be a shadow there. Just around there. Because the nose is an object that casts a shadow. Unless he's got a see-through nose go with the seat through moustaches we were talking about earlier. I'm afraid you'd start being hollow man, wouldn't you? Oh, it's just me fiddling with something I should have done earlier. Because it just pick that just lifts the explains what's going on there a bit better. And that as well. That's the top there. Let's pull back and have a look. Um, not going to win any prizes. But it does follow the form. So it it works after a fashion.
Yeah, we'll just do one more. Uh, but then I'll have a look. I know what I'm immediately tempted to. There is a shadow layer there, isn't it? Can I read it? With watercolour tone, I've called it, so I couldn't understand what it said. So, using the watercolour brush, which I've set to settings that I like, using a sort of purple shadow colour that I've been using. A bit more volume to it. A bit crude there, isn't it? No, it didn't work then. I'm trying to soften it. I clicked it, but it didn't. It didn't take. I think again, that's another symptom of my Wacom. This is driving me potty at the moment. Do the same for him. That might help. Well, it would if I used the right brush. What did I tell you? The word Dimmock springs to mind. With the, you can help describe the volume with shadows. Yes, it did take. I'm just softening them. What have I got the settings on this? So I've got this set so it yeah, insta dry. So as you lay washes, remember we know rage, as I lay washes they build up on top of one another. That's what insta dry does. Everyone every brush stroke you make dries instantly as opposed to the wet paper and not insta dry where it stays much more fluid and blendy. Another very technical word, blendy. You won't find that in the manual. Can't think why. Don't get tempted, don't get tempted to go off down here. Still, I did it again. Clicked it and it didn't do it. Thought I was going to be using the uh, blender and I wasn't. I still had the brush selected. But you see, that's a bit more solid now. still in terms of trying to make him have a funny little sort of quirky that's a wrong brush completely it's a funny little sort of quirky smile going on almost pouty which would be extremely irritating to Stiff upper lip type, old guard, peeply types, type type types. Warmer. 
just like he knew he was growing moustache to annoy them. Let's see if anyone would do something like that. Right, just quickly go over this one and then we'll call that a day. I don't want to do all of these things now. I'd just be wasting your time and mine. It's greatly limit how much you can learn from me. I just felt the need to t tidy up that edge. Right, same routine. Moustaches layer. What should we do with this one? I almost felt like going to watch we do as a drunken sailor then for some reason or other because of the rhythm I was saying that in yes I have problems not as many as my wife though she married me I try uh, something a bit different with this one trying to soften it first because rather than doing a very hard edge things It will also work after a fashion right, where the hair is thinner, which will happen with moustaches and hair, right round the fringes, round the edges, often it's not as thick. And where that is the case, it is more kind of see through, obviously because there's less hair to block the skin. Right, sideburns. Uh, the edges uh, the edges of the hairline. Let's make this one also. I'm actually using the pencil. Making this one more fluffy. I'm still sort of doing the shape at the moment. I'll try and get more volume into it in a minute. I won't make the same joke about noise. Yes, that was supposed to be a joke when I made that thing before. Probably didn't realise. No, it wasn't funny. Most of my jokes aren't. Well, in fact, all my jokes aren't. I like to be consistent. See, I'm trying to get it to be a different shape to the other guys, so it's got individuality. I'm surprised I can still say that word at this time in the morning. That's assuming I did say it properly. Individuality. I'm not going to keep saying it. I suppose I would say something. Right. Again, thinking about the perspective thing, he is also looking slightly to one side, so the perspective needs to be taken into account. to conform to the angle of the face, the shape of the face. He can be having one of these moustaches. When I had a moustache, something that drove me potty was when the hair goes in your mouth. Horrible. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Really tickly. And then you get all the jokes about, well they're not really jokes because it's based on fact about um, how much food you can get trapped in it. This one's a bit sort of heart shaped at the top, really. Like a heart that doesn't meet at the bottom. I suppose that would be a broken heart, wouldn't it? So this guy's moustache is broken hearted. Well, he, I think we could get away with having curly eyebrows.
again I'm doing the same thing I did with the other guy in that um, his moustache and his hair are different. I may go and put a bit more grey in this one there. And I may also do the softening thing. This is me using the blender. No, not the blender in the kitchen. I use that for other things. The palette knife blender in art rate. Right, I put a bit of a kink in there to indicate where the sort of cusp in the middle of the lip is there. The septum, is that what it's called? I should know, shouldn't I? I should be telling you, I should be asking you. I'm supposed to be telling you things. said about doing the hair at the same time maybe because that way you can get them to work together this guy's moustache can be a bit shinier looking same as hair, hair can be glossy, hair can be lank same rules apply the hair uh, because he's hair with, I don't know how many times I need to keep boring you with the same statement uh, a moustache is comprises of hair unless you're doing a big giant's moustache in which case it might have farmhouses in or whatever It's beginning to make a bit more sense now. <coughs> and now it's not tremendously detailed. It looks detailed enough to work. Now I will do what I did before and slap a bit of watercolour tone using that tone again. Because it just makes it that bit more solid. to make sure the form is explained and when it goes over the moustache then it helps make it more convincing within the face bother softening this. I probably will because I can't resist it. I don't want my my wet blender to feel neglected. soften every edge but soften a few edges here and there just makes it seem more convincing I picked it out again with the uh, with the wubba that's a bit like a rubber but with a W not every toolbox has one of those it's a special uh, special tool for people with speech impediments there and I think that's probably what I'll deal yeah, we're going to show for now because that was the object of the exercise really have I just pulled the damn microphone out again I'm good at that 
so hopefully that's it and that will fulfill the brief for this particular Q&A. Okay, catch you next time. Bye.